after the last two videos, your library should be looking pretty clean. Now we gotta talk about adding new music and making sure you don't get back into the old habits of randomly storing tracks. So let's dive in and show you exactly what you should be doing going forward. So when it comes to downloading new music, I'm a big fan of filtering out genres before actually downloading tracks. So when you're searching and digging through your record pools, be disciplined and look for new music based on genres and begin your batch downloads. So in other words, you're gonna look for hip hop tracks first and then go through your record pools and only look for hip hop tracks. Then you're gonna go ahead and find EDM music or dance music. Then you're gonna find top 40 music so on and so forth. Do your best not to put them together, primarily because it's just gonna make your music library even messier than it was before. And the main reason why we do this is to help Lexicon keep your music updated in the genre of smart crates that you've made in the previous videos. So what we'll do is go to a record pool that best serves your needs and search for that genre. For this example, I'm gonna do house music at digitalmusicpool.com and begin searching for what I like. Now I'm gonna go through all the different types of house music, right? And once I go through the music, I download what I like, I leave it in my downloads folder and then open up Mixed in Key. Now I'm gonna import all the new download tracks into Mixed in Key so I have the most accurate key and energy data. Once that's completed, I will then open up Lexicon DJ. And Lexicon, when you click on the tracks icon, you'll see an option called incoming. In that section, you can create a watch folder where Lexicon will scan and look for new potential music tracks that were recently added into it. In my example, I'm actually using my download folder as the watch folder. To change or edit this, click on the settings tab on the bottom left corner of the screen. You're going to choose your downloads folder as the watch folder. Next, you're gonna set your target folder. And this is gonna be somewhere inside of your music storage drive. So go ahead and open up your music storage drive and create a folder and label it something that is easy for you to remember. You can make it something as easy as new music and follow it by the year it was downloaded. So in this case, new music 2023. You're going to create a new subfolder to help keep the music organized. I would first focus on the year the track was created. The next subfolder should be genre. I don't need a third subfolder, but if you wanted to be super specific, go ahead and choose a parameter of your liking. Once you're done, hit close. I absolutely love this feature because once I download my music, all the new music I batch download will be compiled into the incoming track section. I make sure that I can see all the metadata such as BPM, key, title, artist, genre, year, and energy. I do this so I can see what data is missing when I download these new songs. Now, if anything is missing, I can go ahead and edit the tracks by simply right clicking, choose edit, and manually enter the info to my liking. Or I can just have Lexicon analyze the files for me and automatically assign it. Once I've completed filtering and editing the data of the newly downloaded songs, I will then select all done. Now here's the magic. Lexicon will then move all of those files out of my download folder and into my music storage drive for me. It will also update my smart crates and move all my new music into their respective subfolders. When I learned about this feature, my brain nearly exploded. I like used to do this manually and keep up with individual tracks as I'm storing my music, but Lexicon took near nearly like 80% of my work and did it for me. Now I can download quickly and update my music library. Once you've uploaded your music, be sure to go ahead and sync your library to your DVS. Once it's completed, you can finally open up your new organized DVS software and begin DJing. Look, I know this process was time consuming, but the reality of the situation is, this is what it's gonna take for you to maximize your efforts with your music and give you the most cleanest and best results physically possible. And also during this process, Tell me if you found anything useful in Lexicon or Mixed in Key. Use the comment sections. Tell me what you discovered as you were doing this process. And as always, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to keep practicing, keep learning, and keep rocking out. And if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button, that notification button, and if you liked it, hit that little like button. I really appreciate you guys. I'll see you in the next video.